Welcome to Exciting Archaeology News, where we journey into the depths of history, unearthing the world's most mysterious and contentious secrets. Today, we're delving into the realm of the enigmatic as we explore the top 10 most controversial recent archaeological discoveries, many of which have sparked heated debates and rewired our understanding of the past. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of ancient scripts and symbols, unearth hidden chambers and iconic pyramids, and venture into the shadowy world of archaeological debates. But before we dig deep into these thrilling revelations, subscribe to our channel to stay updated with archaeology. The past has never been more intriguing, and exciting archaeology news is your gateway to the fascinating world of history's enigmas. Subscribe now and let's embark on this captivating journey together. Deep in the heart of southern Peru, near Lake Titicaca, stands the enigmatic Gate of the Gods, known as the Puerta de Hayu Marca. Carved into a natural rock face, this colossal structure measures 7 meters in height by 7 meters in width, with a smaller alcove at its base, standing at just under 2 meters in height. In 1996, Jose Luis Delgado Mamani, a mountaineering guide, stumbled upon this enigmatic gateway while exploring the surrounding foothills. Overwhelmed by its presence, he couldn't believe his eyes. Legends surround this enigmatic portal. Native Indians of the region speak of it as a gateway to the lands of the gods. According to legend, great heroes from ancient times passed through this gate to join their gods, attaining immortality. Another tale speaks of an Incan priest named Amaru Meru who fled with a sacred golden disc, the key of the gods of the Seven Rays, to hide in the Hayumarca Mountains. The priest encountered the guarded doorway, presented the golden disc, and conducted a ritual that opened the portal, emitting a mysterious blue light. Amaru Meru passed through the gate and vanished from sight forever. Archaeologists have noticed a slight circular depression on the right side of the entrance, believed to be a receptacle for a small disc, possibly part of the gate's mechanism. Interestingly, the structure resembles the Gate of the Sun at Tiwanaku, it is said to align with five other archaeological sites, forming an imaginary cross with intersecting lines at the point where the plateau and Lake Titicaca converge. The Gate of the Gods stands as an enduring enigma, echoing the whispers of ancient tales and untold mysteries. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, nestled in the Christian quarter of Jerusalem, holds an esteemed place in Christian history. According to age-old traditions dating back to the 4th century, it cradles two of Christianity's most sacred sites. The first is the hallowed ground where Jesus was crucified, known as Calvary or Golgotha. The second is an empty tomb, the holy chamber where Christ was believed to be laid to rest and then miraculously resurrected. A significant moment in recent history has occurred when, in 2016, the protective marble covering concealing the original limestone slab was briefly removed for restoration. This revealed the authentic slab, a sight unseen since 1555. However, Jerusalem is no stranger to competing claims about Jesus' final resting place. The garden tomb, discovered in 1867, has been proposed by some Protestants as an alternate burial site. The Talpiot tomb, found in 1980, contains inscriptions that have sparked debates about whether it could be linked to Jesus or another individual with the same name. But the intrigue doesn't end there. In Srinagar, Kashmir, the Rosa Baal Shrine is a source of local belief. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, the Ahmadiyya movement's founder, controversially claimed in 1899 that this shrine is the actual tomb of Jesus. In contrast, the local Sunni caretakers firmly reject this view. Lastly, the village of Shingo in Japan adds another layer of mystique. It asserts that Jesus did not perish on the cross but lived on, ultimately finding his resting place in Japan. These diverse claims raise a mysterious question. Amidst the myriad of tombs associated with Jesus, which one holds the truth? On Western Australia's north coast, two ordinary men, Leon Des Champs and Shane Thompson, wielding a metal detector, unearthed an extraordinary treasure. This bronze Buddha figurine might hail from the early Ming Dynasty. This miniature masterpiece, resembling an infant Buddha, carries an immeasurable worth if authenticated. Its historical significance could rewrite the narrative of Australia's western coast. 
These men, co-owners of Finn Films, partnered with documentary makers from France's Nicolas Baudin Institute to recount the French voyage to Australia during Napoleon's reign, 1800 to 1804. Their metal detectors detected something significant, unearthing a gilded bronze statue weighing over a kilogram, resembling an early Ming Dynasty artifact from 1350 to 1637. It's not just its age that intrigues, it might connect to a 1421 Ming treasure voyage, suggesting Chinese presence nearly 200 years before Dutchman Dirk Hartog arrived in 1616. Mark Wang, deputy chairman of the Museum of Chinese Australian History, recognized the rarity of the Ming Dynasty items. While excitement brews, the truth is elusive. Authentication and historical context are complex matters, could it have been left by the great Chinese explorer Zhang He or arrived later in the 1870s with the Chinese presence in the region? This discovery has ignited curiosity and hints at a rich history waiting to be unraveled. The James Ossuary, a limestone box from the first century, was initially used to house the remains of the deceased. Its significance lies in the Aramaic inscription etched into one side, which reads, Jacob, James, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus. This intriguing artifact has garnered considerable scholarly attention due to its potential association with the Christian Holy Family. The James ossuary's origin is not in question, dating back to the first century when such ossuaries were used. The dispute revolves around the authenticity and age of the inscription. Some experts, like André Lemaire, suggest that the curse of Aramaic script is consistent with first-century lettering and that no modern tools were used for the inscription. Scientific tests, including examining the ossuary's patina, have supported its antiquity. However, the IAA argued in 2003 that the inscription was a modern forgery, artificially aged with chalk solution. Wolfgang Elizabeth Crumbine's analysis in 2006 contradicted the IAA's conclusion, asserting that the inscription is ancient. The ongoing debate over the James Ossuary's authenticity intrigued scholars and researchers, making it an enigmatic archaeological relic. The ancient enigma of the Great Pyramid of Giza, standing for 4,500 years, still guards its secrets. Recently, Egyptian officials unveiled the revelation of a concealed corridor above the pyramid's entrance, measuring 30 feet in length. This hidden passage, shrouded in mystery, offers a gateway to further exploration of the pyramid's enigmatic inner chambers. A collaborative effort known as Scan Pyramids, involving researchers worldwide, has been employing cosmic ray imaging and infrared thermography to unveil the mysteries veiled behind the weathered stones of the pyramid's exterior. These non-invasive scans have uncovered multiple voids, including the 30-foot corridor concealed behind a peculiar arrangement of stones. Some speculate that the newly found corridor played a structural role in distributing the colossal weight of the pyramid, composed of 2.3 million stone blocks, each weighing over 2 tons. The Great Pyramid, constructing during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu in 2560 BCE, has always invoked fascination and perplexity. Its complex system of chambers and passageways defies easy explanation. The latest discovery adds to the intrigue as researchers decipher its purpose. Hidden on Hidden Mountain near Los Lunas, New Mexico, the Los Lunas Decalogue Stone captivates with its mysterious nine-line inscription. Known as the Los Lunas Mystery Stone or Commandment Rock, it's controversial, as some believe it to be pre-Columbian, suggesting early Semitic contact with the Americas. In 1933, archaeologist Frank Hibben first spotted the stone, asserting its ancient authenticity. However, Hibben's credibility is clouded by allegations of fabricating archaeological data. The stone's reported 1880s discovery fuels speculation about its pre-Columbian origin, Yet, experts have known the Paleo-Hebrew script since 1870, raising doubts about its antiquity. Weighing over 80 tons, the stone was never relocated for in-depth analysis. Frequent cleaning erased potential patina for scientific scrutiny. Its age is estimated to be between 500 and 2,000 years. In 2006, vandals defaced the stone, deepening the enigma. Archaeolinguist Cyrus Gordon suggests the inscription resembles a Samaritan mezuzah, while critics question its authenticity due to apparent modern Hebrew punctuation and grammatical errors. 
The stone remains a puzzle, with Kenneth Fetter calling it a likely fake due to a lack of archaeological context, and Keith Fitzpatrick Matthews deeming it a well-constructed forgery. The Lost Lunas Decalogue Stone intrigues, concealing its secrets on hidden mountain slopes. Deep within the ancient sands of Egypt, a profound enigma unraveled, an alien medallion concealed within the confines of a crypt. This is one of history's most perplexing discoveries, suggesting that our world's ancient kings and monarchs may have had contact with beings not of this earth. The evidence seems to beckon towards an astonishing truth, a connection between humanity's rulers and extraterrestrial entities. Intriguingly, the historical symbols reveal curious characters like Toth and Horus, deeply rooted in Egyptian lore. Were they, in some way, messengers of this alien connection? Gaze upon the medallion, and you'll be captivated by the haunting figure it portrays. This entity, with its hollow eyes, stands as a sentinel before what appears to be a celestial vessel shrouded in the mysteries of time. Beside this extraterrestrial relic stand curious cylindrical objects, resembling glass tubes, as if engineered to contain secrets unknown. What purpose did they serve in the shadows of ancient Egypt's cryptic past? The strange medallion, uncovered within the Egyptian tomb, is adorned with features that unmistakably evoke alien-like beings. Could this medallion be the key to understanding a clandestine alliance where pharaohs and extraterrestrials ruled Egypt from obscurity? Deep within the enigmatic Guatemalan rainforest, an astonishing revelation has surfaced. An ancient Maya calendar, the oldest of its kind, embellishes a lavishly painted wall in a city's ruins. These intricate hieroglyphs and vibrant murals were not merely ornamental. They served as a cryptic reference chart for scholars, astronomers, and mathematicians of an age lost in time. Dispelling the misconceptions surrounding the Mayan calendar, it was unveiled that this timeless calendar stretches infinitely into the future, transcending human understanding. Its intricacies lie in the stacked bars and dots, encoding numeric data and lunar cycles in enigmatic six-month segments. The calendar was concealed beneath faint remnants of an ancient paint, a humble beginning that led to an astounding revelation. This calendar, added post-mural completion, appears as a cryptic timekeeping reference reminiscent of an arcane scholar's scroll or mystic sigil etched for quick recall. It served as a testament to the Mayan people's profound understanding of the cosmos and their ability to decipher the secrets of time. The Maya's perception of time encompassed grand cycles, such as the 400-year Bakhtuns. This transcends the apocalyptic notions associated with December 21, 2012, revealing the Maya's profound comprehension. The end of one cycle marks the beginning of another, and their calendar extends into unfathomable realms. Crystal skulls, human skull-shaped carvings made from clear or milky white quartz, have been touted as pre-Columbian Mesoamerican artifacts. However, extensive scientific research refutes these claims. The evidence indicates that these skulls were most likely manufactured in Europe, particularly in Germany during the mid-19th century, coinciding with the heightened interest in ancient cultures. Notably, the skulls do not have any basis in genuine Mesoamerican or Native American mythologies or spiritual traditions. While some members of the New Age movement have attributed paranormal qualities to these skulls, such notions lack scientific support and are a product of fiction. During the late 19th century, there was a trade in fake pre-Columbian artifacts, and museums acquired crystal skulls, with Eugene Bobin being a key figure in this trade. However, rigorous research has questioned the authenticity of these artifacts. Scientific examinations of crystal skulls in the British Museum, for instance, have revealed that they were created using tools developed in the 19th century, ruling out a pre-Columbian origin. In essence, crystal skulls have captured imaginations, but scientific inquiry suggests that they are more likely 19th century European creations without the mystical qualities attributed to them. The Tartaria Tablets, a set of three intriguing artifacts, emerged from the shadows of history in 1961 at a Neolithic site near the village of Tartaria in Transylvania. These small tablets, about six centimeters in diameter and rectangular, are adorned with mysterious symbols, which bear a striking resemblance to the Vinca symbols. 
These symbols, etched on one side of the tablets, have given rise to intense debates among archaeologists. One of the central controversies surrounding these tablets is their age. Due to disputed stratigraphy and heat treatment applied after their discovery, direct radiocarbon dating became impossible. Nevertheless, some experts suggest that these tablets could date back to around 5300 BC, potentially predating Mesopotamian proto-writing. The tablets' authenticity and the circumstances of their discovery are also subjects of debate. Some scholars question whether they were genuinely found at the reported site, while others point to similarities between the symbols and Sumerian representations found in Romanian literature from the time. The meaning and purpose of these symbols still need to be discovered. Some argue that they represent an early form of writing, suggesting standardization and potential sequencing in rows. However, the absence of clear evidence of organized states in the European Neolithic raises questions about the necessity of writing systems during that era. Some propose alternative explanations, such as the symbol serving as marks of ownership or elements of religious rituals. The Tartaria tablets continue perplexing researchers and hold the enigmatic potential of revealing ancient secrets, making them a captivating puzzle in the archaeological world. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating expedition through the top 10 most controversial recent archaeological discoveries. Please hit that like button if you found this video as intriguing as we did. Subscribe to our channel to never miss another fascinating archaeological revelation. If you have thoughts, questions, or insights, drop them in the comments below. And of course, remember to share this video with fellow history enthusiasts. Lastly, don't miss a single update. Click the notification bell so you can be the first to know when we uncover the next chapter in archaeology. Thank you for being a part of exciting archaeology news.